Pauline Hansen has some pleas explaining to do this morning after being caught out backing a push to strip Queensland of millions in GST revenue, something she's denied she's ever done. For more, let's go to Today Queensland reporter Jessica Merwood. Jess, it seems Ms Hansen has contradicted herself. It does seem that way, Lisa. Good morning. And it's certainly not a good look, especially with the WA state election to be held this weekend. Currently, the GST allocations are as follows in WA. 30 cents for every dollar uh, collected goes back into the state, while here in Queensland, it's $1.17. And Pauline Hanson has come out on Facebook saying that she would never support a, a plan to redirect Queensland's funds so that WA would get more. At no point have I ever, ever said about stripping it from Queensland, so that is not true at all. Small problem with that. This radio interview has surfaced from back in January. Take a listen. So will you, Senator Hanson, help us in Western Australia in this fight and would you be willing to see the GST share of your home state, Queensland, reduced so that WA can get a better deal? Of course I will. No problem. If you look at all my policies, everything that I come out with, what have I always said? Equality. Let's do what is fair and just. Now, unsurprisingly, uh, politicians here in Queensland have jumped all over this. Both the Premier and the opposition leader are saying that Pauline Hanson is flip-flapping and that she needs to come out and exactly explain to voters what it is she stands for with a Queensland election to be held in the next 12 months, of which One Nation are running 36 candidates. Lisa?